Some people started hunting, others in scout troops, but competitive archery is rarely talked about outside of the Olympics. Cronkite News reporter Kevin Redford spoke with two of the country's most accomplished young compound bone art, bow archers, both of whom are based in Phoenix. There's a feeling um, that you know when you've done your form, right? And the second you release the shot, you're like, that's in the middle. Alexis Ruiz would know what the perfect shot feels like. As a member of USA Archery, Ruiz became a world number one archer in the compound category as a teenager. I became number one in my rookie year on the World Cup stage. No one knew who I was. One of the commentators on the videos called me the teenage sensation because I was only 19 at the time. Success at that age comes with sacrifice, but according to Ruiz's mom, it paid dividends for the now 23 year old. You know, she would be upset. She would miss prom or she would miss this. And I would be, but if you had to weigh your options, what are you going to choose? And she always chose archery. Ruiz and her teammate Cooper French are based out of Arizona Archery Club in Phoenix. French, also a Team USA competitor and former world number four, found his passion for the bow off a family Groupon code. My sister was better than me when I first started, but she just didn't have the same attraction towards shooting archery. Then it was something that my dad and I wanted to continue doing. And then one of the coaches here said, hey, you're, you're a pretty good shooter. Maybe you should look into tournament archery. A gold medal and multiple national championships later, the rest is history. Now I'm 21 and my goals are to continue making world teams, shooting professionally and competing internationally for the United States. Now Ruiz and French both shoot with compound bows, which are different from the recurved ones you see on TV in the Olympics. But they both hope that that could change as soon as 2028 in Los Angeles. It's a lot bigger than you think it would be. There's hundreds and thousands of people that go to these tournaments. And then always the Olympics comes up. I go, Are you, do you go to the Olympics? And I sadly have to say no. In the meantime, both are wrapping up their college degrees, competing locally, and doing what they can to grow the sport in the state. I love coaching. I love working with kids and getting people into the sport because it is so, it's not known to a lot of people. So bringing it, the awareness around it is amazing. As they get older, the goals change, but nobody knows about sticking to a target more than an archer. In Phoenix, Kevin Redfern, Cronkite News. In between World Cups, you can find Ruiz and French preparing for the Vegas shoot, archery's most prestigious individual event, held in Las Vegas each winter.